Okay, so um, things might look a little bit different for you, and that is because I'm now in 1.8. As you can see by the left, no, the top left hand corner, 1.8 has been released, and for some reason, which I've only just noticed, the little version is added again to the top. There you go, yeah, that's it, you run away. So yeah, um, 1.8 is out. There's been a lot of cool changes, a lot of changes that change the way I'm going to play, maybe. Um, one of the main things is the lighting. I was on here earlier and um, just messing around with some stuff <coughs> and it was night time and this area looks so good at night time with all the lights doing and everything. But if you can tell you can probably see that things look a lot warmer in colour. And that's because of the new lighting as well. Yep, chests are bugged out a little bit. That didn't do anything. There we go. Sounds like there's mobs down here. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to leave all that. What the plan is now is to move to a new place, a new generated area because 1.8 is out um, I was going to take some supplies with me so it would have been easier but I've decided to basically take um, a set of stone or do I, I don't know, I might take a set of diamond stuff yeah, I'm going to take a, a set of diamond tools um, a set of diamond tools, um, about half a stack of torches, and that's it. Oh, and I'll take a bed as well, just so as soon as I get there and it turns nice, I can set my spawn there. So yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do. I dug all the nether out what I've want, well, what I want to dig out so far. Um, all I need to do is put a portal in there. I've got enough subsidian for it. So yeah. Um, so this whole area is disappearing, I'm going extremely far away and I don't think I'll be able to walk from the new place to here without going to the nether now because of how far it is. So this is basically going to prove that I'm not going to need to start a new world. If there is any problems, like for some reason it's all bugged out or something, then I'll end up starting a new world, but as it stands I'm, I'm kind of almost certain that you don't need to. It's a bit of a pain though because in 1.9 there's going to be there's going to be loads of um, well there's going to be a few new biomes so I'm going to have to move again once that comes out <coughs> once that comes out sorry hopefully that's not for a while though so I can have a bit of fun in the first area I suppose the first area where I get there is just going to be around my pool and that'll be like a little house or make it underground or something I don't know. But well, anyway, time to get prepared for what I want to take. Oh, look at the inside of the, the little house now. It looks all orangey and cosy. It's all fancy. So yeah, 1.8 is pretty good. Been waiting for a very long time for it. Um, not going to take any food. Actually, I'll take... Because food's, food's stackable now, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Are these stackable, the soups. Damn it, no. You see, I'm not too happy about this whole um, hunger bar thing. It's a good idea, but it kind of defeats the object of. Wrong chest. It kind of defeats the object of mushroom stew and if you find golden apples. Because um, it doesn't heal you, it just fills up your hunger bar down the bottom right. And that eventually fills your health bar up once once your hunger bar is full, then your health bar will start rehealing. But it should be um I reckon food that's like pork chops and beef and all that and chicken shouldn't heal your 
health bar, same as bread as well, shouldn't heal your health bar, just your hunger bar, but when it comes to mushroom stew and all that, that should heal your health bar and hunger bar. I think that would be a lot, um, make a lot more sense. Seems so it's a lot more important. But anyway, look, this is what the area looks like at night now. Looks all fancy. See, so yeah, that's cool. Because of the new lighting system. Oh. Oh, it's below me, I need the fire. <laughs> anyway, let's get ready to move. I'm not going to take, actually I'll, I'll take a few pieces of bread, I'll take that with me and then that'll be all the food I'll take. i got loads of these for some strange reason, I'll end up one day taking them with me, um, but I might as well take them to the actual place, like the portal area, just in case I ever need them. Uh, same with the diamonds, I'll take them. Leave all the rest. Not going to need any of that. You can go back in there. Mossy stone looks good now. Netherrack dirt. Um, I'm going to take two chests and a workbench, and then then I'm not going to take them to the new area. They're just going to come with me to the other end, um, you know, where where I'm going to build the pool. What else? Uh, I'll obviously take that and I'll make a, a bow, even though I probably won't have any arrows, I don't think. They can stay there as spares. I'll take a stack of arrows. Oh, I've already got a bow. That's, that's cool. Dump that in there. Right. Let's make some tools. Have we got any sticks already made? Nope. Okay. Do that. Make some diamond tools. Um, I've already got an axe. How badly damaged is that axe? No, nope, I'll take that with me. I only want the new stuff with me. Uh, take the sword. Okay. Well, let me just dump everything in chests. I'll take some of these with me to the actual portal room. Things I'll keep with me to go into the other world, I'll keep on this side of my inventory. See, most of this stuff that I'm taking with me now is just going to be dumped in a chest, or in these chests, in fact, in the portal room over there. I don't have any wall, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. I can make a bed. Make that when I get there. So, this is pretty much all I'm going to take with me. I'll make a few more torches though. Okay. Right. Now let's say goodbye to this area. Because that is it. It was fun. <laughs> but I'm uh, I'm moving on. Now I just need to walk all the way over to that bloody other... Oh, uh, no. I need to get the obsidian, and then I can walk all the way over. Okay, um... Let's see if it will... Light. Oh dear. Okay. We're ready.
So we're now leaving this area. Um, oh, new leaks off why. Yep, so we're now leaving um everything before one point eight behind. Unless we need to come back here for some other reason. Um I have brought some stuff with me. That's gonna stay in this chest. Just in case I ever feel like coming back for the diamonds that I've got. Um, or for the TNT to blow stuff up. So, um. Let's. Let's create a 1.8 world. So it looks like um, looks like we've spawned in the middle of like a swampy type thing. It's pretty cool. Seems to be oh iron. Good start. What I am gonna do is Deactivate this noisy bugger. Okay. Right, so I need to remember that this is here somehow so I don't get lost. Uh, that's alright. I can see a fire starting over there in the swamp. Cool, so started off in a nice little swamp biome with a few caves around it. Swamp biomes are cool because there's a lot of mushrooms around. Let's uh, scout out the area though. Hello dogs. Some coal. I could stay there though for a minute. Oh, this might be a forest. Well, it's not might be, is a forest. It's obviously a forest. So, this is one of the new biomes, I think. Um, new forest biome. Well, forest biomes are old, but these are the changed forest biomes. Like they're a lot more dense than they were before. So, yeah. I uh, don't think there's anything up in that direction. I need to start. Oh, actually, I need to set up a base because I think it's going dark. Yeah, the sun's going down. Okay, so I need to dig myself a little, a little hole. Uh, where the pool? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's find a good place to dig a little hole and then uh. Wait out the night, I suppose, for sleep. What's down here? I presume this is an actual cave, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want to go down there just yet. Um. Right. Let's dig a little hole in here. 